Hi, Craig Kitterman here at Mix 10 in Las Vegas. We're here talking about interoperability with Windows Azure. Uh, this morning, or this afternoon rather, uh, Sumit Chawa had a talk about PHP on Windows Azure and made an announcement about some new open source tools that are available. And let's go uh, talk with Sumit and see what that's all about. All right, I'm here now with uh, Sumit Chawla. Uh, Sumit, uh, why don't you introduce yourself for those uh, Niners who don't maybe recognize you yet? Hey, Craig, thanks. Uh, my name is Sumit. I'm a, a technical program manager with the interoperability team at Microsoft. And we build uh, all sorts of technical bridges between Microsoft and non-Microsoft technologies. That's what we do. Awesome. So uh, what are you doing here at Mix? Well, today at Mix, uh, I presented a session on developing PHP applications with Windows Azure and just giving practical guidance on, um, on how to build, how to bring your PHP applications to Windows Azure. And we think it's Windows Azure is a great platform and I would love to see uh, PHP developers deploy their applications on Windows Azure. So tell us a little about the, uh, the tool, the new, uh, the new tool announcement that you made in, in your session this afternoon. So today as part of my session, I also announced a tool called the Windows Azure Command Line Tools for PHP. It's an open source tool released on CodePlex. Uh, it, you can go and download it. It's uh, basically a PHP command line tool that you can use to either convert existing PHP applications to Windows Azure and uh, you know, give it a PHP application, you get a Windows Azure deployable package as output. Got it. Or you can start a new PHP project using the command line tool as well. So this kind of takes away the dependency on, on, on an IDE. So there are many PHP developers who don't want to use uh, an integrated development environment for building applications. So it's a great uh, addition to our Eclipse tool. Awesome, let's take a look at it. So what I have here is I typed up uh, PHP, package.php minus sedge. As you can see, this is uh, a PHP script or a PHP file I'm running. Uh, the tool is entirely built in PHP. It has a dependency on Windows Azure SDK, but that's, that's about it. Um, I'm using the PHP on my machine to run this. I say PHP, package.php, and it gives me, uh, with the minus that, it gives me the, all the help options. I'm going to skip over the couple first and just talk about the really necessary one, starting with the minus N. The minus N is the project name, and I need to give a project name for my project that's required. Really, that's the only thing that's actually required. I do have to tell it where uh, my runtime for PHP is. This PHP runtime is different than the one I'm running with. It can be the same, but I do have the option of specifying a completely different uh, uh, runtime that will be packaged with my application to be deployed on Windows Azure. Um, it's required the first time you type it in, so it could be like you know C colon slash program files slash PHP, uh, for example. Okay. Um, the minus S is my source project. If I don't give a source project, the tool creates a new project. Uh, if I give it a source project, it takes my existing project and bundles it into a Windows Azure package. And minus T, that's also optional. Uh, I can tell it where I want, to, want it to drop the output files, or I can just leave it uh, blank and not give that option, and then I get my output in the user temp folder effectively. Uh, there are a couple other options for either you know doing a full rebuild of the two of, of my package or running it in the dev fabric by specifying minus f and minus u respectively. So with that, I'm going to uh, just uh, go ahead and run the run the tool. And now I have typed up uh, PHP package dot PHP uh, minus r, which is the runtime. I'm specifying that the tool uses the c the PHP runtime in from the c colon slash PHP folder. And uh, I'm giving it a project, which is my Netflix demo. It's actually an OData Netflix application that uh, I'm using as my standard PHP application. And then I'm giving it a name, minus N, just called Flix. And uh, with minus U, I tell it to run it in the development fabric after it's done packaging it up. So I go ahead and, and fire that up. And uh, what happens is uh, the tool validates the parameters. It validates that I do have uh, a PHP runtime in my resource folder, which is the scratch area for the tool to work with. Okay. It, uh, it, if it sees, it checks if this project is running in the development fabric and it removes it if it's already running so it can redeploy it. Uh, creates a scratch area for doing all the build, copies the resources, packages the file, validates everything is fine, and finally, you know, it readies it for deployment. And at this point, my application is deployed, uh, is, is the package is built, but and, and the package is like flex.cspkg and serviceconfiguration.cscfg. I need to drop these two files in the Windows Azure Cloud. And that's it, I'm done. But I also specified that I want to run the application, so it's going to go ahead and try to do that. And there you go. 
the application is just about uh, coming up. Uh, I do have this application already deployed in the cloud, and I can. There you go. I can. I can. You know, browse through my 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 data that I have this application serving up. In this case, it happens to be an audit application looking at Netflix uh, movies uh, via this uh, web application that's deployed on flix.cloudapp.net. Awesome. So. For more information on the PHP command line tools for Windows Azure, as well as all the open source interoperability technical bridge projects, check out www.interopbridges.com.